Every day, the water industry supplies enough high-quality water to provide each person in the UK with around 260 litres, the amount of water used for three average-sized baths. Your water supplier protects and checks the water at every stage, from source to treatment works to houses and businesses, so customers can have complete confidence in the quality of the drinking water they receive. But when the water leaves your water supplier's pipes and enters private premises, protecting its quality and preventing it being wasted become the responsibility of the owners and occupiers of the premises. By law, owners and occupiers must ensure that their plumbing fittings have been designed, installed and maintained correctly to prevent drinking water being contaminated or wasted. And it's the job of water company regulations officers to ensure they do this. This program will show how these regulations can affect you, what you need to do and what could happen if you ignore them. The laws apply to all premises which receive a public water supply and to anyone who installs plumbing fittings in them and the owners and occupiers who use the plumbing. Water companies give consent for plumbing work before it starts and run inspection programs visiting and checking plumbing in a selection of new and existing premises. Incorrectly installed plumbing could harm people using the building and lead to prosecution. The fines and costs to make the water system legal may be considerable. The water regulations are split into five main areas. Contamination, waste, misuse, undue consumption, and erroneous measurement. Once water leaves the supplier's mains, it will be used in many ways, some resulting in the addition of pollutants turning it into a dangerous cocktail of chemicals and bacteria. If pipework and fittings are wrongly installed or poorly maintained, drinking water could become contaminated. One of the biggest contamination risks is backflow. Backflow happens because there is low water pressure in the plumbing system. This lowering of pressure causes water to flow in the opposite direction to normal and can suck contaminated water from appliances or industrial processes back into the drinking water supply. Another cause of low pressure can be a burst water main or the fire brigade drawing off lots of water to fight a fire. This is a big risk. Low pressure conditions in water mains occur somewhere in the UK about once a minute, 24 hours a day. Here's a common backflow example. This hose pipe has been left in a bucket containing a pesticide solution. When backflow occurs, the pesticide is sucked back into the plumbing system where it can be drawn off as drinking water. To prevent this, you need backflow protection. In domestic premises, hose taps are usually connected directly to the water main. If mains pressure falls, to prevent backflow, they must be protected by a double check valve, a sort of non-return valve, which stops water flowing backwards in the pipes. Also, by law, hoses must be handheld and have a trigger gun type flow control, which automatically stops the flow when it's released, and they should never be left with the end submerged in anything. The hose taps in non-domestic buildings such as sports facilities factories, farms or hospitals, the regulations require a higher level of backflow protection because the contamination risks could be greater. Usually this involves supplying the tap via a water storage system, which includes an air gap to prevent any contaminant from getting back into the pipe feeding the system. Or, as you see here, where the pipe to an industrial storage system discharges above the top edge of the system. Air gap arrangements can vary depending on the risk. There is even an air gap for when water in the system needs to be kept wholesome, 
for example, for use in food production. Air gaps are used to prevent backflow in many places. For example, the gap between the outlet of a tap and the top edge of a wash basin. For assessing the risk of contamination by backflow, the regulations use a rating system called Fluid Categories, with a scale from 1 to 5. Category 1 is the clean, safe water supplied by the water company. Category 3 is slightly contaminated, but not a big health risk. And Category 5 is water with a serious health risk. For example, contaminated by microbiological organisms, poisons, or even radioactivity. A water regulations inspector will assess the level of risk at each premises and will confirm the plumbing installations needed and how they should be maintained. Drinking water in the UK is amongst the safest in the world. But as these examples show, if precautions are ignored, things can go wrong, with serious consequences. Here are some examples of dangerous plumbing installations. Luckily, these were found before there were any problems. Some contamination affects the water's taste and is more of a nuisance than a health threat. Water companies receive thousands of complaints about water tasting like TCP. This can be caused by water sucked back from the rubber hose used for filling the washing machine. Cheap hoses can react with the chlorine used to disinfect the water, producing a TCP-like taste. So always use hoses which have been checked and approved by the Water Regulations Advisory Scheme, RAS. Systems should be checked regularly and, where necessary, disinfected. Silt, for example, can contain nutrients which encourage bacteria to grow, some of them harmful causing illnesses like Legionnaire's disease. And make sure you fit your system with a lid. Rats, squirrels, birds, rusty tools, lumps of wood, and even a bicycle have been found rotting away in storage systems, some of which provided drinking water. Expert water regulation staff work with businesses, carrying out inspections and responding to queries to ensure that risks are understood. We can advise on the steps needed to guarantee the plumbing installation is correct and safe. In industrial premises, pipes which carry fluids other than drinking water should be clearly identified in line with British Standard 1710. This makes it less likely that someone will connect to the wrong pipe. Remember, owners and users have to make sure plumbing complies with the regulations. We recommend using a plumber who is a member of an approved contractor scheme, such as one of the schemes run for water suppliers, like the Water Industry Approved Plumber Scheme, WEAPS, Anglian A+, Thames TAPS, Seven Trent Watermark. Approved contractors have been checked for their plumbing qualifications and their knowledge of the water fittings regulations. When the job is finished, they provide a certificate stating the work complies with the regulations. A list of approved plumbers can be found on the website. Big leaks are bad news, because the water supply can fail. But what if the leak is small, perhaps even unseen? Some people think that if it's not causing any problems, it needn't be fixed straight away. Energy has been consumed to treat and pump this water to you, so wasting it is an environmental issue. Let's look at how this waste can directly affect you. Firstly, it's likely to give you poor pressure, which will only get worse as time passes. And what about the cost? It's midnight and this business is closed. This meter will go on turning 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, running up costs until something is done about the leak. And finally, think about the damage. Water seeping underground can undermine foundations and roads. Never underestimate the power of a burst water pipe. 
Contamination and waste are rightly the main focus of the day-to-day -day work of the regulations inspectors. But inspectors will also be looking for the misuse of water. For example, where the energy or water pressure of the mains is being used to provide motive power or electrical generation. Also, you often find urinals without flow control installed, flushing frequently and unnecessarily. This would come under the undue consumption regulation. A simple timing device is all that's needed to solve the problem. And finally, on-site inspections of business premises, combined with regular mains network checks using sophisticated flow monitoring, can highlight unusual water usage that doesn't match the meter readings. This is likely to be a breach of the erroneous measurement regulation, a sign that the meter has been bypassed and the water, in effect, is being stolen. All owners and users are responsible for ensuring their plumbing is correctly installed and meets the regulations. The first step is to let your water company know in advance of any plans to install new plumbing. For new buildings, the same is true for architects, building developers and plumbers who have to follow the regulations on behalf of future owners or occupiers. Consent is also needed for any extension, alteration or significant change of use to plumbing systems in existing premises, except in domestic dwellings. A notification form can be obtained by contacting your local water supplier or visiting its website. We all have an obligation to comply with the water supply, water fittings, regulations or water supply bylaws in Scotland and all water companies have an obligation to enforce them. Make sure all your pipework and fittings are correct and well maintained. Don't wait for something to go wrong or for an officer to make an unexpected visit. Contact your local water supplier now. They will be only too happy to give you the advice you need. You can find out more through the Water Regulations Advisory Scheme the advisory body for water supply companies and their customers. RAS produces a directory of approved fittings and a series of booklets and leaflets on approved methods of installation. Most of these can be downloaded free from the website www.wras.co.uk. Alternatively, you can contact them direct on 01495 248 454 or by email info at wras.co.uk